In the hangar of Hilo Air at Richmond International Airport, crews work hard to keep the fleet ready to take to the sky. And for the past week and a half, two of their helicopters have been doing just that out of a different airport as part of ongoing relief efforts in the wake of Hurricane Helene. And the helicopter is really the vehicle of choice at this point in uh, Western North Carolina as the infrastructure has been just devastated. Company President Whit Baldwin says he made the decision after seeing the level of destruction in North Carolina and adds they've done similar work for decades. As far south as Florida for Andrew way back in 94, I think, or 93, up north Sandy on the New Jersey and Isabel, which was here. Baldwin says they found an airport in Hickory, North Carolina, about 60 miles northwest of Charlotte, to work out of. Once there, the calls for help started coming in. And frankly, Cameron, how we got going is really something godlike. People just found us, and I don't really know how they found us. And they would call, and we would put the mission together. Those missions have included delivering much-needed medical supplies to finding loved ones for family who can't get to them because of washed-out roads. The very first day we were there, I got a text from my team that we had delivered insulin to a man who was in a diabetic coma. I don't know the story. I just know that we got it to him, and it saved his life. But Baldwin adds, while they're down there to help, the community has been helping them right back, bringing supplies to keep the mission going, like when he put out the ask for cold weather gear. And the next morning I had a text from someone named Sarah, who I have no idea who it is or how she got my phone number, and she had a truckload of blankets and sleeping bags and hoodies to the airport, and off they went. It's humbling that we have a gift that can help people so quickly. And um, the benevolence and, um, and the willingness for people to help us is really overwhelming. Baldwin says Hilo Air isn't alone in what they're doing, as hundreds of helicopter owners or companies are pitching in as well. He says while North Carolina is looking at a hard road when it comes to long-term recovery from the damage, he plans to keep his company down there as long as he can and are needed. It's just a very... I mean, it's a unique gift that God has given us, and we're doing our best to ensure that we're applying it where we can. And if you would like to help out Hilo Air continue their mission down in North Carolina as long as possible, they do have a GoFundMe set up, and you can find a link to that on our website, WTVR.com. In Henrico, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.